It was in 1965, just few days before Swami's arrival. He was supposed to come on the 6th of June. Swami was coming to Bombay. Oh, okay. And staying with the Savant, P.K. Savant, who was then the minister and also trustee of uh, Shedi Sanstan. And he got devoted to Swami and he accepted that Swami is Shedi Baba's, uh, you know. Uh, so, my husband was the chief whip at that time. So, there was a meeting fixed at Shanmukhanand Hall. So these common friends who used to speak about Swami, they used to refer Swami as Swami. They never conveyed a Bhagwan, mm. you know. So some of us thought, being used to North India, that is South Indian Swami, you mm. know, mm. well known and uh, Swami was well known even in 1965. And Swami, that was the second time he came to Bombay. But first time it wasn't. Uh, and even second time when he came, uh, the public was not uh, so such that one had to sort of uh, plan a big place. So the meeting was fixed in Shanmukhanand Hall. And these friends of mine who were Swami's devotees, they used to come to Prasanti Nilim and all that. So they telephoned to me, Bridge Auntie, uh, we have tried to get passes from Mr. Savant, but uh, there are no passes available. Now you must get us these passes. Mm. So there were six of them, husband, wife, Mr. and Mrs. Atal. Atal was working in the Union Bank and uh, four, three daughters and one niece. So, my husband came back from the office and I said, please get me 10 passes mm. from Mr. Savant. So, he said, sit in the car and we'll go just now and you try. So, when we arrived at uh, Savant's house, he said, Mrs. Ratanlal, what are you talking? I cannot give you 10 passes, mm. you know. I said, these six people are de Swami's devotees. You can't deprive them of... Uh, and uh, we are four people, my, my husband, myself, and uh, my husband had a niece who was born blind. And the doctor's diagnosis were that when God was distributing the limbs, mm. he forgot to give her the eyes, you know. Mm. So I thought we will take her and my sister-in-law. So with half an hour's persuasion, he got so fed up with me, you know, that he gave us 10 passes. So we came home. On the 6th of June, my office was very near uh, P.K. Savan's place. And while I was going after lunch, I saw a little crowd sitting in Sahedri lawn, not in Savan's lawn, you know because he didn't have a big lawn. Mm. So I went to my office. I brought four buckets of water with ice, lemon squash, orange squash, and started serving them. In the meantime, the crowd became little more. So this went on till nine o'clock at night. At nine o'clock, the police announced that Swami is still in Thana and uh, it'll take him one hour. So he these police. Uh, this thing yes, around. yes, absolutely. There was police bandobast. They wouldn't allow us to enter Savant's house, you know. So Sahadri used to be the chief minister's residence. So all those staff knew me very well, oh. you know. And uh, some or the other, we opened the doors and we sat on the ground. Ladies one side, men on one side, and we went on. So these friends of mine, I was a very bad patient of ulcers. I hadn't had anything. They said, you come with us. We are just across the road and you have little cold milk and we'll come back. By the time we came back, mm -hmm. Swami had already entered uh, the house. He had his dinner and he retired. Now, not knowing Swami's ways, mm -hmm. 
myself, Princess of Kutch, and her brother sat opposite on Ridge Road, you know, which is supposed to be a very posh locality. And I, in my own way, was a little notorious character because I was doing a lot of social work, you know. So everybody knew me. Opposite is came Munshi's house, you know. So all the cars, we started singing that we will not go till we have had Swami's darshan. We had the good fortune that from early childhood in those days, 100 years ago, all the parents, they had a system that we used to pray and before we went to school or colleges, there was a puja room and and then my father being in the education, every Sunday he used to organize his few friends and the children and give us a talk. So as I said, be good, do good, see good, no gossip, no criticism, no, you know, that sort of a thing. And few months ago, few years ago, I had the good fortune that I met my guru, Lady Guru. Though I used to be not very, because when before the partition, when we were in Lahore, my mother-in-law used to have all the Mahamandleshwars of Allahabad and uh, Haridwar. They used to come and stay with us for six months, 100 sadhus, and we had a big compound, you know, family house where in the evening Ramayana is going on, Mahabharat is going on, Gita is going on. So we were all used to, my husband as well as myself. So suddenly I said, how can we go? We have been whole day long waiting. Swami has to give darshan. 9.30 to 11.30, I, I have a loud voice and I was a good singer at that time. And I'm singing one bhajan after the other, going on singing. Suddenly at 11.30 in the balcony, it was a pitch dark. You couldn't see Swami. So Swami stood on the balcony and spoke in English. It is very late. Go home, come back at 7 o'clock in the morning. And while he was talking, a big disc, golden disc, you know, bigger than the sun, hit me on the chest. And I was singing at that time, Narayan, Narayan. And I shouted, Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. 